Thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, that's our website. And in this video, I'm going to uh, focus on handling defective damage inventory return items uh, in QuickBooks Online. So you sold something and it's defective and customer wants to just return it. Okay, so that's the uh, focus of this video. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. So it's, it, it's already logged in. And uh, so the, the place I want to start is the product and services list. Okay, I'm going to show you one product in here. That's the one I'm going to focus on. So product G. So this is the inventory item. And selling price is $100. And your cost is uh, uh, $50, although you haven't bought it. Your quantity is zero. So $50 is set up as cost. And then the second one I have is non-inventory type. Uh, it's the same product name with uh, R for re uh, handling uh, return. Okay, the way it's set up in here, I'll click this one. All right, so inventory, the name of product, and uh, at this point, quantity is zero. Uh, you have to buy it, and uh, selling price is $100, and income account is mapped to a sales uh, product income account, on my chart of accounts, right? And then the... Uh, uh, cost is fifty dollars, and it's expense to uh, cost of goods sold uh, account, uh, and the cost is fifty. So basically, uh, gross margin on this sale is fifty dollars. Selling price minus cost is a gross margin. Okay, and on the non-inventory side, so I'm 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 setting this up as non-inventory to handle return, and uh, so I just put in the same hundred dollars and cost also 50 same uh, income account same expense account okay so right now i don't have any quantity in the stock so i'm gonna buy it go ahead and buy it i'm just gonna buy one unit and pay by check all right i'm gonna select one supplier in here all right this is a1 and the product is product g so this is the one, right? It's one fifty dollars. So that's your cost. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, close this. Nope. I have to change the date on this one. So the, it's set up at August first. August first. Okay. Save and close. All right. So now if I go in here, you will see quantity of one. There you go, quantity of one. Now you're ready to sell it. So I'm going to create invoice on August 1st. I'm going to create invoice. Customer, let's say uh, this guy here, Adam Anderson, and the product is this one, right? So I'm going to sell it for. Uh, uh, you know, hundred dollars. Uh, so, and I'm gonna charge sales tax as usual. All right, and invoice date is August first. So I'm gonna save this. Okay, and now uh, invoice is open. It's open invoice. And let's say you got the payment the same day in this case, and you're gonna deposit directly to checking account. Uh, just this one. 108.65 cents including tax save and close that's on 1 8 I'm mean, August 1st okay so now we're gonna go to uh, so the, the the product is defective and we're gonna refund this and uh, uh, give same customer refund okay so checking account and let's say by check check number is right here and uh, let's say uh, return it uh, next day okay so 8-2 and at this point you can't resell this product so uh, it's a damaged product so I'm gonna select this uh, R uh, you know the uh, return one this is non-inventory one and I'm gonna give $100 
plus sales tax uh, refund. So altogether, it's still the same amount, right? Okay, so let's see here. So refund date is next day. Uh, originally sold it on August 1. So second, uh, the next day, you have refund date. Okay, so now I'm going to save and close. All right. Okay, so at this point, uh, you know, the refund is done. So I'm going to go to PL and see what happens. So I want to run PL for August 1 and 2. August 1. And let's see here. I'm going to do all the way to 6 in here. And you want to run by day and then run it. Okay, so at this point, as you can see here, on August 1st, he sold this part for $100, and the cost of goods sold was 50 bucks, and uh, uh, your net, in net uh, contribution margin, gross profit from this product sale was 50 bucks. And then, uh, you, you know, product return, damage, and you give the credit back to the customer, right? And uh, so there's no, uh, uh, Credit on the cost of goods sold because of defective product, you have to eat it. So at this point, you have a loss of 50 bucks. That was that's your cost of goods sold. You lost 50 dollars there because it's defective. Okay, so if it's defective and you can return it back to the supplier, so you end up with 50 dollar loss and everything is done. You can destroy the product or do whatever you want, uh, but at this point, you lost 50 bucks. Okay, so luckily, the supplier, let's say said well you can just return it and I will take it back okay so now uh, you return that product to uh, your supplier and supplier send you replacement on August 3rd let's say okay so I'm going to home page here and so supplier just send you replacement just click bill so it's a replacement, so there's no uh, there's no cost involved for you, additional cost. So select, and so it's product is G, right? Point is one, so at this point, there's no cost, it's zero. Okay, and uh, let's say this is August 3rd. Okay, and you, you, you can leave, you can put some bill number, they give you one. All right, so this is the one uh, replacement, and the moment you right now you said out of stock. The moment you add this one, then you'll have uh, one more unit in stock that you can uh, sell, or you know. So I'm going to save and close. This is on August third. Okay, so now uh, you have uh, you have that one in stock. If you go to uh, inventory report, you should have done one in stock now inventory valuation summary okay so it's, it's the uh, so as you can see here we have one quantity in quantity on hand now okay so now let's say uh, you have another customer who wants to buy that product in this case, I'm just going to create sales receipt. I already done invoice, so it makes no difference. Invoice or sales, it's sales receipt. So invoice, you just create, uh, you know, create uh, refund receipt if somebody wants to uh, money back right away or just staying on your account, then you should create memo. So in this case, I'm going to use sales receipt. So you have, if I'm not a customer that wants to buy that product, okay, this is on August 4th now. So product is still same product, right? So hundred dollars, and uh, uh, you know wants to pay by check. Let's say. All right. So st still same product. There's sell stacks involved. Okay. So now I'm going to go to that income statement again. I'm going to replace this.
we go. Okay, as you can see here, you know, we stopped right here. At that point, we had a net uh, $50 loss because of defective return and refund. And then you got the uh, replacement in here, August 3rd. So on August 4th, you sold that product, and we're back in business again. So basically, you end up with the same $50 uh, gross margin on that product, right? Makes sense. Okay, so uh, so this is this is how it works, and uh, uh, in case you bought like uh, on August first more than one, you know, let's say you bought three, and then you return it on August third, and then you sold another one on August fourth, let's say, so uh, in QuickBooks Online, you know it's the uh, first one first out FIFO method. So the numbers you will see see will be different because that on when you when you sell on August fourth it all still comes out from this from the stock on hand so you will see fifty dollar uh, cost of goods sold at that point too but once you sell the final unit then you will end up with the uh, correct uh, uh, gross margin so that's why I started out with uh, buying just one 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 quantity to show how you know everything is going to flow through this. Okay, so I uh, hope this video is helpful to you uh, and uh, visit our website. Thank you very much. Bye.